Hello, welcome to another Bunch of People video. So, I'm going to talk about cats. Not the animal, though I have a cat. This is Nelly. I have a cat. We're not going to talk about the animal, though. We're going to talk about the musical. So, I saw Cats yesterday, which was Saturday. And my friend Audrey was in it with Columbus Children's Theater. And they did a great job. You did a great job, Audrey. But I'm going to talk about the musical kind of in general and how it resists definition. So Cats is a really polarizing show. You either really like cats or you really hate cats. I really like cats. And I'm going to explain a little bit of why. People sometimes complain that Cats doesn't have really a plot, but I think everyone can admit that the music is interesting with uh, all the different music styles and everything and a lot of really great dancing. But the plot is the big thing that people kind of get caught up on, I think, and the fact there's really not a plot. The, I'll give you a basic premise of it. The Jellicle Cats go to a Jellicle Ball where they sing Jellicle songs to figure out which one of them will ascend to the heavy side layer and be reborn into a new Jellicle life. So guess what? If you didn't know what any of those words meant, neither did anyone who saw the show. The word Jellicle just kind of means nothing at all. The person who wrote all of, basically, all the words for Cats was T.S. Eliot. He, he wrote a book of poems I think it's called Mr. Possum's Guide to Practical Cats or something like that. And T.S. Eliot's poetry is kind of nuts. But what happened is that Andrew Lloyd Webber took all those poems and wrote them into songs, which were basically just made the musical. And it's hard to really unite those poems in a way that makes it like a plot. But I think, it, I think in the way that Andrew Lloyd Webber did it and in the way that T.S. Eliot did it, it shows a lot about how things kind of resist definition, and that it's not easy to really define something, and maybe it's important that we're unable to define certain things. So the word jellicle, I'm just going to go back to that. The word jellicle basically means nothing. It doesn't really have a specific meaning. It started with T.S. Eliot kind of perverting the words poor little cat, or no, no, uh, dear little cats, which became jellicle cats, Poor Little was Pollicle, which used for dogs, but Jellicle in the musical doesn't really just mean Dear Little. It means so many things, but it means nothing. They use it so much and try to explain it so many times, but the audience never really figures it out. Now, I never, I never really figured it out. I don't think the rest of the audience did either, and I think that's an important thing, that there's something about the world, there's something about poetry, there's something about cats, there's something about all the metaphors that are used in cats, like the moon and memory, there's something about them that we don't understand. We can try to explain them with words, we can try to make up a word jellical to mean something, but we really don't understand it and we really can't explain it. We can just feel it. We can only feel what jellical means, like the cats can only, they, they know what it means, they know what it means, but they, they can't explain it. And we can't understand it. It's just, it's a feeling. It's, it's so strange. And I think that the, uh, the idea of unexplainedness is also kind of prevalent in the naming of Cats, which is the second song, which is basically just a chant. So um, there are three, every cat has three names. There's a common name, which they use every day, like Nelly. There's a special name, which is only, every cat has a special name, and it can only be one name per cat, so you can't, like, have multiple cats with the same special name. And then there's the third name, which only the cat knows and will never tell. And I think that's something that, like, each cat and each thing has something deep inside that can't really be explained. It has a name that can never be said, that it itself knows. And everybody, everybody else might be able to feel, but they'll never be able to understand fully or explain fully. And, uh, alright, so that was a lot of kind of heavy-handed stuff because I was feeling particularly metaphorical and, uh, like, taking things apart e today. So, I might have just kind of made all of that up. I don't really know. I believe it's probably true, but you can totally disagree. You might not like cats. I like cats. If you have a comment about cats, discuss it in the comments, please. Also, some things. Uh, if you say the word jellical to the tune of the first song just over and over again, it almost... Is ha it's like half right. Jellical, 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 jellical. If you like sing along to the music just with the word jellical, you're right half the time. Also, the cat's second name, the special name, is just seemingly kind of random that you could just string together multiple syllables and that's a cat name. Like, uh, Pergenfazenbolget. 
That could be a cat name. Write your cat names in the comments, your, your cat's second name, just the goofy one. And uh, tell me what you think about cats, what you think about metaphors, and what you think about this sort of, like, taking things apart thing that I did today. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry if you haven't seen Cats, you might be missing out a little bit. But not really, because nobody knows what Jellicle means. Goodbye.